You can see the valve stem here, the bolito, and all you need to do is simply click scan, line it up, instant. That's super quick. But yeah, there we go. 1.8 bar, 26 PSI. Pretty freaking cool. What's up, Wolfpack? Cole Greg here. And today we got all the bikes out doing some maintenance. And first things first, we're gonna go over this Tubolito Smart Tube. Now this is an inner tube. It is a first of its kind at 100 grams per wheel for a 29 inch wheel. This tube is not only two times more puncture resistant, reusable it also has the first ever nfc chip inside which does allow you to put your smartphone up to the tire right near the the valve stem it needs to be three centimeters away but what it will do is actually give you a pressure readout in both psi and bar while this is really cool there's a lot of really unique features about this tube. The thermoplastic polyurethane material this tube is made of is not only more puncture resistant, lighter weight, it's also reusable. So instead of taking that single use standard rubber, rubber tube that's all stretchy, gets sealant stuck all over it after that use and you gotta toss it, sealant on this guy wipes away clean. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it in this Canyon Strive behind me that, that came to us with tubes in it. So I figured what's a better way to test it out? I've been riding this bike a lot and really enjoying it and I think this is going to be a pretty cool addition as I am someone that is very picky with my tire PSI. I think the only other thing I'm picky, super picky with on a bike is my lever position but I need to know the PSI in my tires before each ride. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. I want to take this moment to show you the difference in the material here and how kind of show you the durability from a, a far, you know, you take this tube and you can see, just watch my fingers, how far she's stretching, barely any at all versus your standard tube. So there's quite a bit more stretch in this tube, which really goes to show the durability of this tube and what they've done behind the scenes to increase that puncture resistance while also keeping it lightweight. Again, only 100 grams per tube. All right, so we got the tube all installed. Um, as you can see, I had a little bit of a struggle. It's been actually a while since I've done uh, a tube, but the tube material itself is a touch slipperier, slipperier than that original rubber tube. So I found it was easier to kind of seat the bead on both sides, work the bead around, and then slide the tube in after. I don't know, quick tip. Um, and also you saw me sit on my pump, it is broken, so I have to sit on it so it doesn't release the pressure. Yeah, I need a new pump. All right, well, let's go ahead and open up the app and test out this fancy new function with that NFC chip. All right, so you can see the valve stem here and we got the old smartphone. I just downloaded the app. Whoop, whoops, here we go. Tablito. All right, so basically once you download the app, open it up, it brings you to this screen and all you need to do is simply click scan and hold your phone near the NFC chip. It tagged it. Oh, I got a command error. Let's try again. Try from the top. All right, so we are reading 13 PSI. That's pretty freaking cool. That's what it shows up. So it gives you both the bar and the PSI. Uh, let's go scan again. Right up on top. Scanning. There it goes. All right, so 26 PSI. That feels a little bit more right. I don't think I had it quite on the chip. So let's go ahead and scan again. Go right near that, the top here. Boom, there we go. So it does. It does ask you, basically I'm, I was scanning on the Apple sign originally and up by the, the cameras is where it really likes to scan. So let's go again, show how fast that is right on the tube. Boom, there we go. Oh, I got a command error. Let's go ahead and scan again. 
line it up, instant. That's super quick. And you wanna leave it on there as it scans it. I've noticed that I've gotten those air reads uh, when, it, when I pull it off too quick. But yep, yeah, there we go. 1.8 bar, 26 PSI, pretty freaking cool. All right, well, there we have it. The Tubolito Smart Tube install. Pretty straightforward, uh, just like any other tube. Like I mentioned earlier, it was a little slippery and I kind of found it easy enough to put that, uh, that bead up in there and then roll, roll the tire up with it or roll the tube up with it. You can also get a patch kit. It includes five small patches, five large patches, as well as five alcohol cleaning swabs made of that same material. So if you do get stuck, you're able to repair that and not have to trash it. Really cool option to have. Um, for those of you that run tubes or want to carry one on your bike as a spare, uh, it's a really cool option to have uh, your smartphone as your tire pressure sensor. For me, being someone that's really particular about PSI, if I get stuck out on a long ride with a flat and have to use a CO2, I'm going to be constantly guessing what that pressure is. And for, for me, I see this being a value for that instance. Now, I don't run tubes to begin with, but to have that on my bike with my CO2 cartridges, being able to check the pressure trail side after you know repairing a flat is a really, really cool option. Tubolito has been nice enough to give us three full pairs. So that is two tubes for three winners. Uh, basically what you gotta do, drop us a comment below. Let us know what you think, if this could be of value to you and your kit. Subscribe to The Lone Wolf, click that button uh, on this side. <laughs> and. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, we're pretty excited of this being the first product of its kind. It's not often we see this kind of innovation in mountain biking today. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out and we look forward to seeing you out on the trails.